Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the quadratic formula, specifically all of our answers today will be imaginary. So, we have two examples today. We're going to use the formula using this as an A and this as a B and this as a C. Luckily the formula, the question they gave us is already equal to zero. The formula can only be used when it's in standard form. And so let's plug in everything. We're going to get 16 plus or minus the square root, negative 16 squared minus 4 times 4 times 25, all over 2 times 4. So I'm going to use my calculator to simplify as much as I can here. We get 16 plus or minus. That'll be, I'll do the whole square root underneath on my calculator. Negative 16 squared minus 4 times 4 times 25. So you can see I do the whole thing all in one step on my calculator without the square root sign. And I get negative 144 all over 8. Now remember, when you have a negative square root, as long as it's a perfect square, you can still answer it. You just have to attach an i because it's a negative. So that'll be 16 plus or minus 12i over 8. I can simplify this more. I can split it into two fractions. Everything needs to be divided by 8. So let's split it so that everything is divided by 8. And then... Uh, for room, I'm going to go over here and write the answer. The 16 over 8 is 2. 12 over 8 cannot be fully simplified, but it can be reduced to 3 halves. So our final answer here is going to be 2 plus or minus 3 halves i. That's our answer to this question. And if I really want to be technical here, I'm solving for hack, so I would say i just equals 2 plus or minus 3 halves i. Where do the three halves come from? Well, 12 over 8 reduces to 3 over 2. And the i was on top. You can put the i on top if you like, but it can also be attached to the fraction next to it. All right, one more example here. This one's not in standard form, so let's start by just moving the 8x to the other side. And then let's label a as 1, b is negative 8, c is 43. So that'll be 8 plus or minus square root negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 a degree all over 2. I'm going to type everything in the square root all at once in my calculator without the square root sign. There it is, everything inside the square root except for the square root. And I get negative 108. So that'll work out too. Let's make sure you can see that. 8 plus or minus the radical negative 108 over 2. Now 108 is not a perfect square, but I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see if I can simplify it at all. Negative 108, let's split that to, I know 4 can go into it. Let's see if there's another number that can go into it that's a perfect square. So 16 can't go into it. Oh, 9 can go into it. Oh, 36. There it is, 36. So we're going to do negative 36. 3. This 36 times 3 is 108. And then, just scrolling to make sure, the square root of negative 36 will be 6i. And we're at the 3 can't be simplified. So this is now where it got to be 8 plus or minus 6i radical 3 all over 2. And just like the last step here, we're just going to split this into two fractions. 8 plus or minus, sorry, 8 over 2 plus or minus 6i radical 3 over 2. And then let's simplify this. 8 over 2 is 4 plus or minus 6 over 2 is 3. And high radical 3 just gets for all on. So our answer to this question there's x equals 4 plus or minus 3i radix of 3. Thank you for watching.